Back to seven and four. We told you, you saw it. Um, I was actually over at the old Chick Fil A. A couple uh, folks were like, oh, "We love the." Was loving the show yesterday from Dollywood. Oh, that's good to yeah, hear. So, so wow. The, the people workers. It. Was it the manager over there at, at uh, the establishment? I think it was actually the owner of Chick Fil A was in there here in Roanoke. <laughs> said we love your show. <laughs> love it. Like, All right, yeah. uh, not uh, workers, uh, patrons. People okay. really enjoyed the show. Okay. Do you remember um, when we did say that we we're going to go down there? <laughs> yeah, you like my square? When we did say we we're going to go down there. Like the number one thing people are saying, got to get the cinnamon bread, cinnamon bread, cinnamon bread. I didn't know what this thing was. God. I'd never, well, I'd never been to Dollywood. Right, but yeah. Ellen's been here telling you about it for years. Has she? She has. Now that one went at, <laughs> have you had this before, Dollywood? Yes. Because mm -hmm. you, you've been down there. Yeah, I've been down there once. Well, it's we, amazing. We went and you we, can smell it all throughout the park. I'm telling you what, it just, oh, it smells amazing. And uh, we went over to the old grist mill to learn exactly how it goes from nothing to, to this. Something. It's fresh, it's hot, it's good. You can't get it nowhere else. The famous Dollywood cinnamon bread. It's basically its own food group, if you ask anyone who's had the pleasure of trying this tasty pastry. And while you can find it at various resorts outside the park, there's nothing like the feeling or the smell you get inside the grist mill where the magic happens. I couldn't stop eating. It was just, you know, I fell in love with it just from the first bite. Aaron Banks, he's the director of culinary services at the park and has about 30 years experience in the hospitality world. So this guy knows a thing or two about park food, but it all pales in comparison to the cinnamon bread. The cinnamon bread is like one of our staple items here at the park. People line up for hours just to get this product daily. On an average day, anywhere from 1,500 to 1,700 loaves. That's, a, yeah, that's just on an average day. And luckily for us, he shared some tips and showed us three easy steps of making this stuff that brought little Chloe, Mia, Jamie, and Christina from Georgia just to get a taste. The lady at work said we have to get the cinnamon bread while we're here. So here we are. Here we are getting the cinnamon bread. We're pretty excited about it. You know, the, the biggest trick or the biggest thing you want to do is make your own, like, sweet yeast dough. Then you're going to score. You're going to make uh, one, two, three, four. That allows that butter to get in between the layers. Dip it in nice butter that's not hot. And then you want to put it into some cinnamon sugar. Pretty much just get it nice and coated with all that nice sugar and cinnamon and goodness. And then from there, you want to go to a pan like so. Allow that to uh, proof at room temperature for about 45 minutes. Your product is going to look similar to this proof product here. Then you want to bake it 340 degrees for about 26 minutes in your oven. And then you're going to have that nice, delicious, go gorgeous like product right there. And no matter how many times you eat it, like the park regular Sabrina, it gets better every time. I know it's like a big cinnamon roll. I mean, it's light, fluffy, it's so good. So good, it just melts in your mouth. Young Fernando and Dylan, they both had this tasty treat for the first time this weekend, and they agree with Sabrina. It's so good, it's so good. For me, it's like, I had like cinnamon, like the cinnamon from the, from the mall, and like I thought that one was the best, but after I tasted this one, it just like, blew my mind how good it was. There you have it, young and old, first timers and decades of eating. There's just something special about this Dollywood cinnamon bread that if you come to Dollywood without taking a bite, did you even come to Dollywood? It's the best, it's just the best.